Hey everyone, Nathan Mann here. Today I'm going to be painting John Adams digitally in Photoshop. So I have a pen and ink drawing that I created a couple months ago and right now I'm just going over it with a pen brush in Photoshop just to have something I can use and I can paint over with later. You'll see I had a minor panic attack there because I thought Photoshop had frozen, but it didn't, so we were able to keep going. Now I'm working on my background here. I'm including some blues and some greens, some variety, stepping a little away from what uh, Trumbull did with his original portrait of John Adams. Also having blues and greens is nice when you're working on a portrait because uh, skin tones are naturally gray, blue, green, gray. Uh, underneath the pinks and the yellows and the reds that you see and so to have that there is a nice base to work up from here I'm doing my basic uh, first go through just making sure I have some color down something to work with doesn't need to be exactly correct I just need something to go over also, you'll see every once in a while a little screen pop at the top, right? And that's uh, me listening to Hamilton. Had to have some um, appropriate audio while I painted. Here I'm working with the hair and then the jacket. It was just a very light pass my first go through, so I wanted to put in a little bit of that contrast, some um, mid tones and some darks, and just so I have something more to work with now. We're starting to get into the juicy stuff, and you can see I'm working on his face. Um, I'm constantly cutting and smoothing, so cutting on one edge of a splotch of paint and uh, making it a plane where it comes and intersects with another uh, block of paint. And uh, if you leave a hard edge there, cut it, it uh, forces the viewer's eye to really uh, see it as a plane, but then on the other edge you smooth it out like on his nose You'll see um, the bridge of the nose kind of stops at the brow, but then it's uh, smooths out into the reds of uh, his nostrils and the tip of his nose Here I'm working on his eyes his right eye the left eye from our perspective is a little big for my tastes And I go back and fix that later much easier to do with digital painting you can um, crop, resize, select, and uh, move things around. Uh, what I'm used to, I would have had to paint over everything with traditional oil paints. So that's kind of fun to work with here. You see, I'm just working slowly into his cheeks, uh, just working all around too, never sticking in one spot, never want to stay static. Uh, you're constantly working around, never zooming in, you don't want to get too detailed, you want to use a large brush because uh, that helps you keep perspective of the overall painting. You don't get small until the very end when you need those details to highlight a specific section. Finally going into the hair here, trying to prevent it from looking like a helmet basically. I don't want that uh, hair sitting on top of his head. Uh, looking all weird and everything. I'm not sure if he had a wig or not. I know George Washington just powdered his hair. He never wore a wig. He was originally a redhead, by the way, like uh, my boy TJ, Thomas Jefferson, originally a redhead. Um, here we're going in. Now we're working on the jacket. Getting towards the end. Um, still haven't fixed that eye yet. We'll get in there. Uh, don't worry. And just looking at my reference over there, again, blues and greens are going to dominate the colors because that was the overall feeling I wanted to have. So you'll see I chose some light blues, light blue greens for his shirt, uh, really bumping up the highlights there. And uh, then more browns going into his uh, jacket, his coat. Now here's the eye, you'll see how I selected it, moved it around, um, didn't completely finish it with this video, there were still some lines that I needed to correct afterwards, so if you look at the final product you'll notice that the, that's all smoothed out and taken care of. Now I'm just cropping it, calling it a day, it's been three hours, so thanks for joining me, hope you enjoyed.